Hi everyone, it's Kirchi, and recently my niece Margaret sent me a bunch of Coraline goodies. Coraline is one of my favorite movies of all time, second to be exact, the first one being Alice in Wonderland. First she sent me this Coraline game called Beware the Other Mother, which I cannot wait to play. Then she sent me this Pink Palace sign for my craft room, which I actually call the Pink Palace because I painted everything pink and everything I own is pretty much pink in here. She personalized it with my name, Kat being my legal name for those of you who don't know. She also designed this herself and I'm pretty impressed that she was able to match the sign in the movie and also get the right shade of pink that I have in my room. And of course, she sent me the Coraline Funko Pops. I have all six of them. This is one that I bought for myself just to finish the set because it was only $10 on Amazon, so why not? I'm very familiar with Funkos, but I don't own any myself. Let's get to opening these so I can display it in my craft room. I am gonna start with a classic Coraline herself. Now, there are two more that actually go in this Coraline Funko collection. There's the classic Coraline with her hat that you see in the movie. And there's another classic Coraline with glitter all over her and that's called the Diamond Collection. I couldn't justify spending additional money just to have two more Coralines that basically look identical. On the back, we actually see that I have the complete set and the two that I just mentioned are probably special editions that they released later. I'm gonna go ahead and open her up. Here she is, she is so adorable. All of these come with this little stand, so I'm gonna put her on here. Ta-da, here she is up close. I love the detail on her, especially her nail polish. She's got that dragonfly hair clip like we see in the movie. This is one of her main outfits in the movie where she wears a raincoat and she goes out exploring. As far as Funkos go, I really love this one. I guess this is what Coraline would look like if she had other mother sew buttons into her eyes. Speaking of buttons, it's time to unbox the Coraline doll. And to help me unbox, I have the official Coraline doll. They look adorably creepy together. There we go. Now you have a friend. Friends forever. It's absolutely adorable. I love the hair. Look at all these details. A lot of the Funkos I see don't have this much detail. I don't know if they make these in different factories or if some of them are actually handmade, but of all the Funkos I've seen, this is one of the best ones. And of course I'm biased because I love Coraline. You can also see the texture on her skin. because She's supposed to be made of some sort of ragdoll material. So far, she's my favorite. I love that she goes well with the official Coraline doll. With this one, she has her iconic star sweater and little kitty over here. These, for some reason, look really high in quality, almost as if someone actually hand carved it. I know Funkos are mass produced and a lot of them end up looking really cheap with bad paint jobs, but this one just looks really special. I don't know what it is about it. Taking a closer look, the textures on her sweater and her pants. I don't even remember if her pants had a texture in the movie. I'm gonna have to watch it again for the 500th time. They could just as easily have had flat stars that are painted on, but these stars pop out. They're like individual pieces on her sweater. I really love this one and her boots kill me. Even in the movie, it's like she's wearing some Elvis boots or something. The cat also has a lot of detail. The fur texture, the ears, the face, everything is on point. I'm a total nerd when it comes to tiny details like that because I do like to sculpt really tiny things. So I am in love with this one. And let's put you on the stand. I feel like this might be made by a separate factory or something because the stand is really snug on this one. And on the other Coraline, it's a bit more loose. They're pretty similar. I wouldn't say exactly the same. Her hair is darker than her hair. This one just feels to be of much higher quality. 
Now the last of the Coralines, which is a very special one that my niece Margaret really, really wanted me to have. And you can see right here that this is a 2018 fall convention exclusive. Now I'm not familiar with conventions or any Funko events, but I'm guessing that this is one that you can only buy at that certain convention. My wonderful niece spent her hard earned money to buy me this one. So thank you, Margaret. And I'm gonna have so much fun opening her and displaying her. I really love this one. This reminds me of that really creepy scene where Mr. Babinski was actually made out of rats. Even though this is the outfit she wore when Mr. Babinski was still fun and not creepy at all. I love her pajamas. Where can I buy that for myself? And now for the stand. I just wanna say that with every Coraline I've opened so far, her hair has gotten progressively darker. You can see a huge difference between this one and this one. Now we have Mr. Babinski and the little mouse. I wish they made one of those two creepy sisters because they're actually one of my favorite characters. Mr. Babinski does not come with a stand. I'm assuming he can just stand on his own. I hope. That's a relief because that would have really bothered me. I absolutely love him. He has a lot of detail on his outfit too. His part in the movie is the creepiest one for me. Actually, I would say it's the second creepiest next to when the two sisters grabbed Coraline's hand when she was trying to take one of the little ghost eyes. He looks absolutely creepy. I love it. There's this theory I read online that may or may not be true, I don't know. But they say that Mr. Babinski is actually a survivor of some kind of nuclear explosion. But what happened was it infected him so badly that he is just completely off. There's more to it than that, but when I read it a while back, it was pretty interesting and very creepy. I love the back of his coat. They really went above and beyond to create the textures. I especially love this jumping mouse because he looks like my dog Gizmo. Last but not least, we have the other mother. She already looks so menacing behind this plastic. What can I say, except they really captured her. Look at her, can I speak to a manager hairstyle. I love it. I love her nails. You know me and my nails. I never noticed this about her dress. Did she always have this, kind of like a black widow? For someone who has watched the movie so many times, I have missed a lot of details. Let's put you on the stand. She gets two of these little nubs, because I guess she can't stand very well on just one. Gorgeous. There they are displayed super nicely with the pink palace sign right next to my Alice in Wonderland figurines. Super, super adorable. 